with this money, what are you going to do? I mean, that's the uh, first thing I'll do is buy me a Chevrolet. A, <laughs> four, a four door Chevrolet. <laughs> and that stuck in his mind when he got to the state. Uh, well, first, the uh, Navy were using him for propaganda, for selling a war, war bond, you know, to make money and all that, to make tanks, planes, guns, and all that. But he kept you know, telling the people that I need to pay Antonio Otero and I want to get, get him a car. So GM found out about it. So GM wanted to use a big propaganda too that we're, do, we're donating the car to Antonio Otero from GM. Because back then actually they weren't making cars, they were making tanks, planes, guns, jeeps, cars, you know, all the, all the war equipment. So finally uh, they said, we'll give Antonio Otero a car, but Tweed, you got to escort the car back to Guam. So that's when he came back. When he came back uh, to uh, give my dad the car, they they did all this. Uh, this when he got this uh, all this picture. Uh -huh. They came back up here like like four months, and you know, yeah. they, this is all we said right after the war. Huh. This is not before the war because there's no no camera. <laughs> <laughs> this is immediately after the war, about four months I think. <clears throat> and then he went around. There's the this is his vehicle before the war started. And when he ran, this is down south in Georgia. So he went up to look for it after the war. <laughs> And the donut people took the tire and the engine and everything. Cannibalized. <laughs> they still do that today. <laughs>